Alright guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video, and today we're gonna go ahead and take the LR Evolution Blue Vegeta and Kaioken Blue Goku into Extreme Super Battle Road, one of the biggest tests for any new unit. Now, I will say that I'm pretty sure Super Physical, um, the difficulty level here is curved, right? Like, it's not... This is not like going into Super AGL Extreme Super Battle Road, because honestly, Super Physical kind of, like, sucks. Like... I, I don't want to say it sucks, but it kind of sucks because, like, Beerus is a godly amazing unit, but you have to have certain units to use him correctly. Piccolo, same thing, but then same thing. You have to have certain units around him to use him correctly. Like, you know, Physical Super Vegito, it has age. Like, his counters aren't the greatest. Although, in Extreme Super Battle Road, like, the enemies are squishy, so his counters should be able to get through. But, like, you go through Super Physical, it is not any... Like, it's not even close to what any of the other, like, super typings look like. Like, STR, Tech, and AGL blow it out of the water. So, this Goku and Vegeta card was so badly needed. But this could be an example, by the way, of, uh, like, most people's criticism with this unit right now is pointing out that they only have one key link, um, Tournament of Power, right? I think most of the time that's actually not really going to be that big of a deal. But here, it definitely could be. Um... Because they're, they're, the two big units I could have brought here that have turn out of power. I was looking at Berserk Kale. This is actually the first time I'm going to be using Berserk Kale in these stages. So this will be good. Um, and yeah, I, I probably will leave Berserk Kale with Goku and Vegeta. Remember, Berserk Kale has 60% damage reduction. So this will sort of be a pseudo showcase for her in Extreme Super Battle Road as well. Um, and then, of course, this Gohan. I'm probably going to want to keep that Gohan with Goku and Vegeta. Because he is an orb changer and stuff like that. Um, that is... I believe that's an 18 key super attack right there. That's important because um, that will allow him to raise his defense, I believe. Uh, looks like only Dr. Jiro is attacking after Gawasu and Zamasu. Um, Kid Gohan is not going to... I'm going to risk... We're just going to risk it. Yeah, it's fine because Kid Gohan friends are easy to find. If we die right here, we die right here, whatever. Uh, actually, maybe I should have used an item. Eh, we'll, we'll be okay. Um, this Kid Gohan is good defensively. But obviously, if there's a Goku on rotation, he's a lot better. Because then he has de uh, defense plus damage reduction, which is a wicked combo. I believe that raises his defense, though, is 18 key. And then this could stun as well, which would be very, very good. We didn't get the stun. He did a lot of damage, though. Again, this Gohan is... Yeah, look at that. Double digits right there. That Gohan is good. He's very strong. LREZAs are very, very good. So that's why Prime Battle Goku... Like, I've been kind of building people up that... I, you know, I, I think it's a very high chance that he's like legitimately one of the best units in the game but then again i have kind of said like yeah what are the best units in the game no, i don't know that could be any of you know the top 70 units in the game or something like that. <laughs> yeah. well, like, i feel like you know there's so many units now that like i feel like that does work right like oh it's one of the best units in the game but it's like, you know like, top 50 <laughs> okay so oh yeah all right. oh oh Whew. you know what i just realized too by the way kale doesn't have goddamn super saiyan she doesn't have super saiyan she also doesn't have fierce battle so i mean she's not going to be linking up that good with goku and vegeta i do definitely want goku and vegeta in slot one however i think that's super important what's their defense 81k but it's going to jump way up after we do this uh we're only going to be able to get one rainbow orb that sucks that sucks ass because you know we'd be getting a lot of extra damage by having them get other orbs 124k um let me see. I think I'll probably... We'll keep this Goku around. And then I'll probably just float Kale off. I think. Yeah, because we're going to get a lot of extra damage. Yeah, I mean, we're just going to get so much extra damage by Goku being there, right? Because Super Saiyan and Fierce Battle, it's just going to help out a lot more. All right, so they might take... Yeah, 28k is a little bit much. But after they super attack, their defense uh, goes, goes up by 50%. That's a huge amount of damage they just did right there. That's a gigantic number. Uh, considering they also will have, you know, no, uh, attacks coming afterwards. An additional super would be so good. Okay. Um, because remember that they also lower attack. Dude, they're a they're actually going to be so good in here. It's just, they need, like, a better partner. What's funny, their TUR legitimately would help so much. Um, because their TUR, right, has prepare for battle and turn up power, along with a lot of those other links, like, you know, Super Saiyan, Fierce Battle, a lot of other stuff like that. So, them having... Uh, fierce battle. Oh, yeah, Kale is so good. But uh, them also having fierce, um, well, prepare for a battle would help out, like, on a team like this a lot, right? Um, okay, so we'll keep Goasu and Zamasu right here. Vegito Blue, I think, should be able to finish this off. I mean, it depends on how good our luck is, obviously, but, um, you guys know how strong Vegito Blue is. Vegito Blue is, is a monster, man. Like, he's, he's, he's a savage animal out here. 
Uh, I just wish I had some more. Oh, nope, never mind. I was going to say, I just wish I, I had some more crit equipment for him. But yeah, get all these crits in, and he looks very good. Give me one more. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Ugh. That sucks because I'll probably have to use an item next turn as now, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, Gawasu could probably finish him off right here. Well, I guess technically it's Amasu, right? But whatever. Yeah, because they get an attack buff um, if they're attacking an extreme class uh, enemy. Our health is very low, though. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. This is good, though, because we have Gohan, Goku, and Vegeta, and we have the blue Goku. Both Gohan and blue Goku are creating orbs here. What? We got shafted. Oh, my God. Oh. Wow. Are you shitting me? We just got unbelievable. We have a double orb changers, and it did nothing. It's like both of them tried to change tech orbs. Unbelievable bad luck. All right. Well, we have to use an item here. Um, now, okay. W all right. Let's just use Goku and Vegeta's active skill. So if you guys are not aware what their active skill does, the fact that we came in here super low health, this is interesting. Uh, but we also got completely unbelievably shafted with orbs on the field. I mean... This sucks because, like, if there was a bunch of orbs there, they would be able to kill. Like, they could probably one shot one of these enemies here easily, which would have been huge. But uh, I, I don't know the way it stands right now. I mean, we're not even going to be able to get rainbow orbs, basically. Uh, yeah, dude, this is unbelievable. Like, what am I going to float them off? No, I do want to leave Gohan around. All right, I'm going to do this. Um, let's go for freeze. So we potentially could stun him. Where? Okay, actually, that. Eh, we got four. We're going to get two rainbows. That's pretty good. Let's go for Dodoria. I feel like we potentially could finish Dodoria off. Let's see what their attack and defense is going to be. Yeah, okay. So their defense is just very low. After they super attack, it is going to go above 100k. But still, it, it's best not to just risk it. What's next turn? We got Kale, Vegeta. Okay, so we're going to go... I'm probably going to use an Android 8. Let's get back up to full health. Um, And then I might use a Nurse Chi Chi as well. Just to make sure that we will survive this turn. Because, I mean, again, we got unbelievably shafted with orbs. Not really much I could do there. Um, so we'll go ahead and do this right here. All right, cool. So let's see what Goku and Vegeta do right here. Again, we got shafted on orbs. You know, they are a nuking-type unit. I mean, their attack stat is still probably going to be over 3 million, I would imagine. Because they're getting the support from Gohan. Plus, say, they do have a couple of their good links active. Oh, we got a stun on Frieza. That's good. Um, yeah, this, again, the 50% supports are crazy busted good, right? Like, we, we all already know that. All right, so let's see. What is Goku and Vegeta going to do here? With their active skill, out of turn, active skill buff. Oh! Wow! Okay. <laughs> That's in Super Battle Road? Turn one? Yeah. They did one-shot him. Okay. That's pretty impressive. Give me one more. They didn't. Okay. Holy shit. Is that impressive, man? Yeah. See? Okay. Uh, SCR Kaioken Goku can be very good because, you know, you could cheese it with a Spirit Bomb. Uh, you can kind of do the same thing with Goku and Vegeta, right? That was pretty, like, to one shot? That's uh, quite impressive, actually. Uh, they completely set us up, because they also did so much damage to Frieza that, like, we're easy. Wow, 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 are they good. Okay. All right. Um, huh. I mean, that, <laughs> that was pretty impressive. Like, because, again, like, everyone... Everyone sucks off Tech Broly nonstop, right? For good reason. He deserves it. Tech Broly can do what they just did, but on turn four, they did it on turn one, right? Uh, yeah, Kale's pretty good too, by the way. It's just, I probably, she really did deserve her own video here. I might just run it back and give Kale her own video, uh, just to sort of like establish like, yes, she is ridiculously broken. Super physical, definitely, like, with Kale being added, and then Goku and Vegeta, obviously Vegito Blue. You know, super physical is definitely a little bit better. I mean, if I could get 50% uh, support Gohan friends to actually do a couple of attempts here, I could no-item the stage pretty easily, especially with Goku and Vegeta around now. Oh, yeah. Because, again, like, you get them in slot 2, they're lowering attack, you know, they're greatly raising their defense. You know, I don't know who to put in slot 1, maybe Gohan himself, or Gowasu and Zomasu, I don't know, but uh, it would work out quite well. Okay, so, eh, we, I mean, we're actually getting pretty unlucky yet again, um, because, like, we can get a lot of physical orbs, but not rainbow. Yeah, I mean, I, okay, so here's, I mean, here's a good example of how 
Like, I I've been hesitant to call them the best unit in the game, like, right away. Uh, because there can be inconsistencies, right? So it's like, they'll get more attack and defense if we go over here. But then, you know, they can get the, the two extra attacks. Which, I mean, that's two extra chance. What, what, how, what additional do I have for them? Eight. So this would be an extra, th like, uh, two 16% chances to get their hidden potential system additional. And, like, again, if we get the second super attack by them, that's another 50% defensive increase and they're lowering attack as well. So I, I, it is more beneficial to go for the Rainbow Orbs. Are we even going to get the 18 key super? We will. That's fine. Um, Gohan? Kid Gohan has his damage reduction active because I believe Goku is actually uh, activating it. I believe so. I believe the Goku and Vegeta unit would give this Gohan his ability. Um, it doesn't have to be specifically a Goku unit, but I, I, I think a unit who has Goku in his name. I don't think we have to use items here, but let's see. Goku and Vegeta will take a lot more damage right here than they will after these. That's a lot, man. That's a lot. That's a lot. All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, so we're up to eh, 2.17. is not great. I mean, that's not a lot of orbs right there. Um, but again, if we get their second super attack, they definitely will be able to help out a lot right here. Because again, lowering attack is huge, especially on Android 13, who carries most of the damage dealing potential up from here. We did get the second super attack. Beautiful. So now they have the two defensive increases. I, we're probably going to be taking double digit damage now at this point. And then Android 13 himself was heavily nerfed. Yeah, he's doing double digits. All right, how much will they take from Super? Anything below 150 is good, I think. Yeah, that's fine. That's that's very solid right there. Okay. Um, I'm pretty pleased, actually. Not bad, not bad. I mean, we did take a lot of damage right at the start there, right? Like, no doubt about that. You know, where I, if possible, honestly, I probably would have been better off putting Kid Gohan in slot one. I think that would have been uh, much smarter because Kid Gohan definitely would have nerfed all that damage, right? Um, but, I mean, that didn't really turn out so bad. Um, here, let's use a Princess Snake right here. And we should be good. Yeah, and I, how about we let Vegito Blue go go crazy? Let's let Vegito Blue... Let's see what our boy Vegito Blue is going to go ahead and give to us. Um, we'll go for Android 15. Okay. Uh, I mean, this is... Yeah, Super Fiscal is in a much better spot, man. Like, I'm, I'm kind of actually... Like, you know, I, I know I started this video off by talking about how bad Super Fiscal is, but, like, some of these new units are very, very powerful here that we're being able to, uh, to rock, right? Like, this is very good. Um, I'm surprised Vegito is actually still taking damage here, despite having a Princess Snake and his na natural damage reduction. But he's doing a lot of damage. Remember that these counter units, yeah, they're going to look really good in this stage, these extreme Super Battle Road stages, because these enemies are squishy. They don't have very high defense like a lot of the other um bosses in the game nowadays do right a lot of the bosses nowadays will have like high defensive stats you know don't confess android 13 for example and they could sort of nullify um how impressive like vegeto blue or the super vegetos could be with their counters uh that's why giving them critical equipment is just it, it's it's a necessity at this point you must do it right it, it, it is absolutely 100 percent, absolutely a must that you have to get that done all right so we'll get you out of here yeah, I, oh, wow. And then Kale, yeah. I, I, I have to do another, I have to do a video on Kale herself. She's too good. She is, like, so good. I have, We haven't even really seen her get hit. But, like, I think her 60% damage reduction could be pretty solid here. What is their defense on this turn? Oh, man. That's super good. So, like, with Gohan and Goasu and Zamasu, it's crazy, crazy good. Um, We will be able to get a couple of different Rainbow Orbs. We're going to be able to get three right there. That's what we want. Absolutely, they will be able to finish off um, Android um, uh, 14 right here. He's he's dead for sure. He's dead to rights. No way he'll be able to survive Goku and Vegeta's attack right here. Yeah, 3.34. They're good. They're, I mean, there's, there's, if you have them, there's no reason you leave them off of this team. Because you know, we saw what their active skill does. They're lowering attack. They're normals. If you have crits on them, either, either critical equipment or you do have a dupe in them, it's going to be crazy. But then again... I mean, can I expect people to have a dupe in this unit? I mean, it took me over 10,000 stones just to get a dupe. So, um, yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, just, just pointing that out. <laughs> it's pretty uh, pretty nuts. Um, but I'm pretty pleased with what we saw from them. I probably will do some no-item attempts on this stage uh, with them. I mean, I was already trying it before. It's just finding 50% support Gohan's use as a friend leader is pretty rare. Um, I could use just Kid Gohan, though, because especially with this unit on here. And with the blue Goku, we'll have a couple of Gokus floating around. Because that kid Gohan is an amazing god-level unit. 
uh, once you, he's on rotation with a Goku because he has high defense plus the damage reduction is a winning combo. So let me know what you guys think of blue Goku and blue Vegeta. I thought they were pretty impressive here. But then again, you do want to remember that the stage is not on the level of Super AGL or Super Tech, right? So this unit was going to look good pretty much no matter what. Whereas, like, it doesn't, like... It doesn't matter how good a unit is. I take them in a super AGL stage, and it looks like they're bad. It looks like they're fodder, pretty much, no matter what. Nothing I can do about it. The stage is just so difficult, right? So keep that in mind. Um, thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.